Hi everyone I am Alex, today we will discuss global warming. Let me introduce the members who are participating in this discussion. Here we have Jane, Mike, Sarah, John and Anthony. Let's start with an overview. Jane, could you explain what global warming is? Sure, Alex. Global warming refers to the long-term increase in Earth's average surface temperature due to human activities, primarily the release of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane from burning fossil fuels, deforestation, and industrial processes. Thanks, Jane. Mike, can you elaborate on the causes of global warming? Of course, the main cause is the greenhouse effect, where gases like CO2 and methane trap heat in the atmosphere. Human activities, such as burning coal, oil, and natural gas for energy, contribute the most. Deforestation also plays a significant role because trees absorb CO2, and fewer trees mean more CO2 stays in the atmosphere. Great points, Mike. Sarah, what are some of the consequences of global warming? Global warming has several severe consequences. We're seeing more frequent and intense heat waves rising sea levels due to melting polar ice, and extreme weather events like hurricanes and floods. It also affects biodiversity, with many species facing extinction, because they can't adapt quickly enough to the changing climate. That's concerning. John, what can we do to mitigate these effects? There are several strategies. We need to transition to renewable energy sources like solar and wind, improve energy efficiency in buildings and transportation, and promote reforestation. Governments also need to implement policies like carbon pricing to reduce emissions. Individual actions matter too, like reducing waste and using public transport. Excellent suggestions, John. Anthony, how can we adapt to the changes already happening? Adaptation involves making our infrastructure more resilient to climate impacts. For example, building flood defenses in vulnerable areas and designing buildings that can withstand extreme weather. Communities also need to plan for these changes, like relocating people from high-risk areas and developing early warning systems for natural disasters. Thank you, everyone. To wrap up, Jane, what can individuals do to help combat global warming? Individuals can make a big difference by adopting more sustainable lifestyles. This includes reducing energy consumption, using public transport or biking, recycling, and supporting policies and products that are environmentally friendly. Educating others and raising awareness is also crucial. That's a great note to end on, Jane. Thanks, everyone, for your insights. Global warming is a complex issue, but by working together, we can make a positive impact. Thanks for participating in this discussion.